<laughs> What's good, y'all? Master Sun here. Megalo Box Episode 3 reactions in the description below. I just finished watching this episode, bro. This fucking show. Oh, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It's been bad. It, was, it, it hasn't been the best day for me today. I was just now thinking, like, I, earlier I needed to watch Megalo, Megalo Box earlier in the day to go ahead and get these episodes out. But after a long day, you come down and you hit this bitch, Megalo Box. It just brightens your whole fucking life. Like, this show is fucking amazing. How's that for your three episodes? Y'all gonna drop? Y'all gonna drop? Just, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna drop? Who are y'all? Don't play with me right now, bro. Don't play with me right now. Don't play with me. Tell your friends to watch Megalo Box, son. Anyways. Ah, this episode was off the chain. As usual. But here's the thing, right? This episode. But this even started off with Yuri practicing. I, he trained him with that thing up there. I would ask for one personally, but I know it's out of my budget right now. So I ain't gonna trip on that. But that boy got Joe, y'all. No, no, excuse me. Joe. That boy Yuri got Joe all in his ear. He said, You call that regular box? He said, That thing said, You hit 72 punches. He said, You had 72 hits. It was 81 in total. He tried to walk away. You call that boxing? Call that boxing, Yuri? You call that box? Heard that boy's voice in his ear. He was like, 81, huh? Turn him right back around. That boy knows he's haunted. <laughs> Talk about Joe and shit. Find your way up here. You motherfucker, you looking for him. Second he go down there, he see Joe at his first fight. He go lit, light, his face gonna light the fuck up. Be like, God damn right, you're bringing your ass. I'm gonna beat that ass again, motherfucker. But wait, motherfuckers. <laughs> Anyways, until then, man, this episode is basically about the new member of the crew. Uh, the kids is done. This kid, this group of kids remind anybody of the group of kids in Kill Kill. You know Marco's younger brother? Y'all seen Kill Kill, right? You know that, that whole crew that been running around, which turned out to be irrelevant because always Marco's younger brother kind of stuck around, which kind of going to be the same case with this, you can obviously tell. But, you know, that is what it reminded me of. These kids are already stealing shit. Now, first of all, those guys at the pawn shop, fuck y'all. Now, here's the thing. I'm not going to condone thievery, Okay. I'm not condoning, condoning theft. I'm not doing that right now. I'm not doing that right now. This is anime, though. So, yeah. I'm not condoning that. But the thing is, they're going to steal all those cameras. And those cameras look nice. Those cameras look nice, y'all. And he pawned them. For pieces of candy? The fuck? Give them at least a quarter, a quarter of what the cameras are worth. Like, oh, I mean, a fucking bum-ass pawn shop. So that boy can buy them bags of candy. What the fuck? You can... Look at those things. Look at those little small-ass... Strawberry things that kind of disappear, it's like you know those things. But you seen the post? What small little strawberry ass candy? Hey, he's cheating about one of them. They only got three. I'm, I'm looking at this motherfucker like, what the hell? We almost got our ass shot up stealing these fucking cameras. You gonna give us three pieces of candy, bitch? I mean, two wrongs don't make a right, but goddamn, you shit. Thieves stealing from thieves. Someone gotta get fucked up. <laughs> shit. Fuck out of this Excuse me. Still kind of sick. But anyways, man, another note, I know I'm just jumping around the episode right now, I'm not going in no order, but I am legitimately bummed the fact how quick Joe lost his fighting, that when he went in there to try to save the kid, he had that fighting thing on that matched his pants, that shit looked clean as fuck, and he lost there in less than a minute, sir, 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 how, like, <laughs> Oh man, that thing looked too clean to lose that so fast. So fast. Oh man. Yeah, you y'all gonna repair it to look just like that? I mean, you don't gotta look exactly like that, but at least get Man That shit look too fucking nice to go out like that. Man. Oh man. I felt like the next I, I felt like that was some next level shit when he walked out there with that shit on. And they just broke. <laughs> so mad. <laughs> oh. Man. Oh. I like the kid's hat, you know. I usually I usually wear hats like that, but I kinda lost them to someone around the house. But you know, I can't wear these all fucking day during the fucking winter. I mean during the fucking summer, so I need something lighter to wear on my head. So I like the kid's hat, you know. I don't have an orange one, but you know, I wear those hats nowadays when it's hot, so the kid is the kid is, you know, top three favorite characters right now. Anyways. He knows something. Obviously, he's going to have some kind of passing going on, you know, because he, you know, right in the in his hat, you see the picture of his family. He obviously knows something about Megalo Boxing as it is. But not only is he a valuable asset to the team, he also knows what we're missing. 
So, I mean, I don't give a damn about your age at that point. You know exactly what we need to add to this motherfucking thing. And you got a his boxing history. Fuck your age. Who cares about all that, bro? You're on the team. All we, get, all we got is Joe, which is off the chain, and Old Head, which knows his stuff. But that's all we got us so far. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, we have to, we have, we, we have a block right now. Shit. We got to get over this home. <coughs> Excuse me. So, welcome. Oh, man. Uh, this is going to be a point in the show. I'm just going to forget everything that's happening. I'm just going to start freestyling. I don't know where the one these beats. <laughs> I had a fight. I had a fight in this episode. That point when that new beat dropped right before, right, right, right after he went in there with no more equipment, and that kid was t- talking about he wanted. To, like he said, "Let me step in. Let me start." To, I don't know. He was. I don't know. What he was calling like calling the fight or something like that. So they dropped that beat right there. I was gone for a minute, bro. I was gone for a minute. I didn't even know where I was. That. I got these headphones, right? These are Sony extra bass headphones, bro. Right? So when the beat drops in these motherfucking headphones, you fucking hear that shit. I don't even have this thing. My reactions are, I don't even have the volume that loud because then the volume seeps through this thing. But, bro, when I heard that shit, I was like, oh, my God. I was almost gone, bro. I almost forgot what the fuck I was. This is going to be one. This is going to be the worst reaction ever, too. I'm just going to I'm just gonna lose, like, half of the fucking episode when that shit happens. Oh, man. I apologize in advance when that shit happens, but this soundtrack is too fucking dope. I keep saying this every week. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Mega Man Box is so great. So great, bro. Like, I'm not playing. This is what I need you today. You, you, y'all don't even know, bro. Y'all don't even know. I might watch this episode again. Anyways, bro. Uh, only downside of the episode, I mean, older wasn't in it, so... I can't give you a perfect rating. <laughs> but, man... I don't want to be like three episodes you in or out because if you're not in after even watching episode one, I mean, you just can't agree. You just can't. But anyways, y'all, you watch this video, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Like this video for me. My live reaction is in the description below. And I'll see y'all. Make a little box another fine episode. Yes, fine. Fine ass episode. The Mega Low Box anime was a woman, bro. Fine ass episode. <laughs>